Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. Hello, Max. Hello, Jim. Hello, everyone. Hello. Nice to Hello. Namaste. 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 Hello. So I'm st we are starting our usual Saturday morning 10 a.m. New York time broadcast. You can find us on humancolonies.org and you can find us on Facebook. Search for Hucola, which is abbreviated Human Colonies, H U C O L O. Thank you. And same thing on um, Google Plus. Uh, to find our announcements, uh, it's easiest to, to go on Human Colony and see the invitations for. Webinars. We now have scheduled webinars and unscheduled uh, spontaneous webinars. Um, now we have five channelers working with us. Uh, uh, in the last 10 days, uh, three people started channeling. They were close to that, and finally they channeled extraterrestrial beings. We are very excited and we congratulate them. So we have now. Uh, all five speaking, but only three are inviting personal sessions because they feel ready. And Jim's, Jim is inviting personal sessions. So you contact Jim by going to humancolony.org. And there he is, Jim menu, and you have his phone number. You, what's your phone number? 585-414-6816. What's your Skype ID? James.Charles211. And what's your email? JimReiki at gmail.com. And how much do you charge? Forty dollars a half an hour. Forty well, forty five dollars a half an hour. Depending. Right. Yes. How many <laughs> some people pay some people pay me forty five half an hour and some people pay Please be serious. Me. Really it's yes. it's important. It's forty dollars a half an hour. Jim's cars fall fall falls apart right now. I I was driving and I saw that his exhaust is falling out, so he needs to fix things. Yes, well. And how much you made last week on China? Oh, I didn't add it up. All right, how it many was, sessions did you have? I had four last oh. week. It's not too bad, but it's that's lower than usual, yeah. Lower than usual. Um, and uh, uh, Nick started channeling. He is great, well adjusted for channeling. It comes easy to him. So he's also offering private sessions. And again, you can go to Nick's page on humancoin.org, just menu Nick. And Zakari also offers his sessions. Uh, Zakari also channels for his own life. And he has been off planet, so he is well trained and well um, guarded. I started inviting, uh, I invite the sessions for spiritual consultations. So you can reserve time with me. I have my page there in an invitation. And all my coordinates are on humancolon.org. So people write to me with all the questions. Now you can have video Skype with me or telephone conversation. And if you don't have money to pay now, you can uh, pledge your payment. I, I will do it for free now. And you pay whenever you're ready. And price is also. Uh, Flexible. I, I just want to start that now. Okay. Uh, a lot of people say that what we are doing uh, is really important, and uh, they believe it's it's right. So we need you to help us, help us in every possible way. It's, we cannot go much further without your direct involvement. Right. Go ahead. I would like to say those of you that are paying forty-five dollars a half an hour, just start paying forty dollars and a half an hour. All right. It is. Uh, uh, I, I I'm using all the resources I have, and it takes a lot of a lot of time of me and Jim to make it happen. Um, obviously, if you can start other other communities like that, that would be great. If you become more involved in this community, basically right now it's kind of. Uh, Ravi, you are. I will mute you. Okay, thank you. So. Uh, People start, you know, we're becoming more popular, which is great. Um, I, we received fifty dollars last week for uh, donation to me, and I really thankful. I'm thankful. It's very inspiring and very. It's a great help. Um, so, if you want to help, if you want, if think, if you think it is important for you, if you watch these videos and you believe it's right, uh, be involved. Uh, if you can send a lot of money, send at least one dollar. You know, open the channel. In Russia, we have a 
tradition, if you get a healing, if you get a psychic work, if you get channeling work, it won't work for you unless you pay. It's, it's a superstition. Of course, there could be other things. You don't have to pay with money. Uh, but but uh, also, it is other way around. Uh, if, if you pay, this money will come back to you. There is, you know, our higher sources say that that's how it works. So if you pay $20, you might discover that your flow of energy, flow of resources will increase more than $20 worth. Uh, I would like to invite, if anybody already donated to us, can you share your experience? How easy it was to donate, and what do you, what do you, well, why did you do that, and what happened to you afterwards? I donated some money because Jim needed glasses. Thank you, Riley. Yes, thank you so as soon as much. He, as soon as I was said, I was like, right, Jim needs glasses, he's got to have glasses, got to read emails, this is an important job, got to do that. So do so it. They work well, thank you. And thanks, Lani, for transferring. Thanks to Lani as well because I won't use Skype. Oh, sorry, I won't use um, PayPal. Um, so no. thanks to Lani for helping that Didn't transaction. I use them. I don't put them on for this session because I don't need to see anything really. Another miracle happened with the glasses. So I ordered the cheapest one in China, uh, prescription glasses. And first I just guessed. I ordered, and then Jim finally found his prescription, so I ordered another one for him. And the first one never arrived. So the, my guess, maybe it was good, but it never arrived. I, I'm sure I placed that order and never, but then, and I wasn't charged even. And then, uh, because I was sure I ordered another one, so he has two pair of glasses, and they all prescription and work great for me. They're fine. They're wonderful. All right, why Max. did you donate? Max, with all these um, channelers you were starting to um, attract around you, why didn't become an agent? Take a cut. What's the question? That take, um, take a... he's suggesting what I said. What was that? What was that? That yeah. for. For for uh, Max to take a percentage of the channelers, you know, any channeler because he's really promoting. Yeah, what we're doing is so, promoting the channelers. So yes. I I think it would only be fair if he got a small percentage of of the sessions of the channeler, you know, that that as they come in, so that Max can get something. Um, sure. Because um, let's all remember that Max doesn't get anything unless you make a donation. And now I can. Do and that. he's hold on, Max. Max, yeah. can I speak? Um, and I think it's very important because he's doing a lot of work. He's the one going out there and trying to connect and trying to keep things together and reminding everybody of everything. So um, let's not forget that, that unless a donation is made, Max doesn't receive any money. And at the moment, um, he's really in need of that. So let's be mindful of that and let's make at least a, you know, if, if whatever you can give at this moment is important to keep Max going. Yeah, That's I was Yes, I, I concur. Yes, I I I agree with that. Did anybody else uh, wanted to share the experience of donating? Please do. It's super easy to do it. You just go to Human Colonies website and press the PayPal button there. And you can you don't have to be a member of PayPal. You can just enter your credit card. And pay a donation. Cool. Did, you, did you donate yourself? Yes, he's done. Why did you donate? Max. Because I feel it's Max. good well, work. You put a lot of time into this, and, and you are doing great work and finding people connecting. Thank you, Gabriel. Somebody said Max. What do you mean? 
Am I wrong asking the question? I think uh, personal examples are great because you know people, you know many humans, you know they need an example. Go doing things for the first time is hard. Also, you know if you don't have a credit card and you want to send cash, you can arrange that as well, no problem. So uh, also being involved in other ways is great. Uh, like now people, lots of people, over 20 people and lately have wrote to me that I really want to help. You know, I will help you in every possible way. Here is my heart for you. And write it to me. Okay. And I give them, you know, help here and there and there. And then nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Because many of you are kids who need guidance. Or not kids who need guidance. So, and some of you are great organizers. I'm not very, very great organizer, right? It's it takes. I can mentally do that, but heart-wise, I'm kind of an explorer. So, guard, uh, guiding other people, I can guide them. So, I found here a place. Here, go, everybody, go here. That's what I do. But now, somebody need to structure that. And so uh, my face is on, on the side, and I say, hey, I'm here. So people write to me. If you can put, place your, say, your face there and say, people, write to me. I'll tell you how to help. And there is a lot of help needed. We, we got, today we got attacked from Turkey. I didn't give in to anyone the password in Turkey. But basically, somebody logged in. Like it, he didn't delete any videos on YouTube. But you know they had the, had the chance. So I. Put a block there, but uh, you know I need help there to get the security right and to get backups right. So it, we need to back up the, our YouTube channel. If anybody knows how to do that, well, you know, write to us. Uh, Channeler started speaking uh, in channeling. Uh, it makes me a little bit nervous. You know, what is what if something happens? If negative entity comes into a channeler, what will I do? And basically, I, I can only rely on our uh, higher friends that they will take care of that. I have, uh, I can provide my soul. I can provide uh, the fact that I'm known to extraterrestrials, so they wish to speak to me. So that would be another enticement for them to come through a channel. I can offer my through through video. I can offer my uh, support basically and try to convince the negative entity to leave or you know draconian king well came to through Nick and I was sick four days after after that. Some people left the site after that. Uh, it was a big hit on everybody, but I think it was important. I think the information that comes through Draconian King is incredibly important. Although it's it's Charged differently, but it is incredibly important. So, so uh, the reason we do that because the danger of not doing that is maybe even bigger. We we are, we don't do that because we are brave, but because we understand better. We understand that we are guided. We understand that there is a path to go, and we will walk in that path. So, if you are not ready to channel, take your time. But if you are ready to channel, I am there for you to help you start channeling. Uh, my family. So I'm transforming. I am on meditation drugs, meaning I'm meditating to, to stay happy. But my family is left behind, and they're unhappy. The money are not there, and there is a concern for the future. And that is reflected on health of my wife and my kids. There is a smell of financial trouble at home. And I invite my higher beings, my higher friends, to take care, to help them. To take, I, I know they're watching over them. I do know. But they might not be aware of that. I, I feel it here. So and every day I feel that. Um, my son is developing fast, but he's not. he doesn't have a nurture. My wife and my sons need nurture, and they don't get that. I will repeat it when I talk to the tour, but that's important. Um, registering the, registering the, the, the company. So one of the ideas was to, to separate the, the community from me and to, to make it into a separate entity, which is a non-profit organization. So what kind of non-profit could it be? It could be a church, a religious organization. 
which because we are professionally dealing with the spirit in higher dimensions. It could be a non-profit organization of people. Basically, we have a community. It could be a broadcasting YouTube channel, things like, like television things. Uh, it could be educational research website, uh, services, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, obviously, there are could be multiple en entities. So, so we're getting help. A lot of, a lot. A few very important and experienced and bright ladies wrote to me, and actually, uh, two of them are coming right here. That is ex uh, that is you know great achievement. Two of them. You know who you are. Are coming here to help us, and we will talk to them about registering. Registering is easy, but you know, when you say A, you have to say B, C, D. You have to make a board of advisors, board of directors. It's it's an involved process. So, so we will discuss that. I can do it myself. I, actually, it has to be done by the community. Um, Personal attack. There was a personal attack yesterday. A very smart young gentleman was attacking me and others on YouTube channel. Finally, I blocked him, but basically, it's not the way to go. It's because we are open, we can't block everybody. Uh, so the right thing to do would be for you guys to watch and read and comment. When he comes and sees that there is a community of people who thinks otherwise, he will go and bother others. He wasn't hired. He was doing it from with a uh, full-heartedly attacking people, and uh, you know those pests are kind of that's the, how they get their energy. And he was very educated, was really educated, and his language was really good. He wasn't from Turkey. Uh, his English was English, American, and uh, I felt you know he 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 said you know how can I believe you guys if you're asking for money? I was thinking you know. What's the relation? Are we asking for money or are we not asking for money? Somebody wanted to say something or? Hey Nick, okay. Uh, can you mute yourself? I'm I'm preaching here for money. Oh, thank you. All right. So basically, it doesn't really. And my video camera went. All right. Okay, here we are. So basically, there is no relation between you know, some people tell tell the truth and they ask for money. Some people tell the truth and they don't ask for money. But basically, uh, your experience is that you know, if somebody tells good stuff and they're not asking for money, it means somebody is supporting them. I'm supported by my wife. Uh, Jim is supported by his friends and. You know, God knows how he, he, he gets along. But basically, we, we don't have any organization behind us. We are here. You and us, that's all we have. And our higher friends. My friends have been very generous. It's very, yeah. very generous. Yeah, uh, in the summer and the fall, he was, Jim was working for his friend, who basically gave him donations in exchange for gardening. Gardening. And, and things that like was that. great help for Jim's health. Yes. He, he, needs, <laughs> he needs more gardening now. Yes. Uh, so, help us now. Uh, we can't go much longer without without help. If you can't pay now, just make a pledge. That will I can show these pledges to my wife. At least that will make her happy because, you know, there is a sense of doom there. Uh, so for personal attacks, What's your PayPal account. Second. What's your PayPal account? Please go to humancalling.org. Click on Max. You'll get everything. Okay. Uh, file count is max at humancolony.org. Very easy to remember. Yes. Um, also, uh, there is a lot of, you know, sometimes, some days I'm overwhelmed and you're overwhelmed. So the site is silent. So I'm thinking that, you know, am I talking to myself in an empty room? Am I talking on the website? And others come there and say, here's full my heart. I want to be with you guys. And that is silence. Even if you're overwhelmed, just, you know, in my Russian community, Russian blog, there is a nice tradition. If you don't have anything to say, just put a period, neutral, and say click enter. So you, ha I have been there. You know, I, I, I noticed that. Exclamation mark means I get excited. 
period means I've been there, no, no comment. You know, but you know, thank you, Lainey, for welcoming people. Please do more of that. And if somebody can, you know, really commit and put their face there and say, I will, I'm here for you. Come to me with questions, and I will contact Max and and uh, and coordinate with him. Well, I've been trying to do that, Max. Um, whenever somebody signs up, I make a point to welcome them. Oh, and, so you committed already. And, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've been I've been trying to stay on top of the website that way, and on the on the Facebook. But I think a lot more people have been visiting the Facebook page. That might have been yeah. why you saw it dropped on the website. Yes. Oh, that's um, that's great. Moment. Thank you, uh, Sabrina and others who organized the Facebook thing. Thank you. Yes, that's wonderful. Excellent. Uh, also, on the website, maybe we can make a page for you, so or for your welcoming team, so people know where to go with. Because people write to me with long letters, and if it is a long letter where they propose to help us, it's one thing. But if there's a long letter when they want help, mm -hmm. I really can't. I really can't. Can do as much. I I will be happy to speak to you on Skype, but my reading capacity is limited. Mm -hmm, yeah. And, okay. But but I ask them to post. Can I post your letter on the website? And typically they say, "Oh, go ahead, post it." So I post it. Please respond. Lately, I posted two good letters. People come there and offer them, but they need some some response, and I cannot give much of that now. Okay. So. Um, however, if you, I mean, if you want to post it there, or if you want to just forward it to me, however you want to do it. Excellent. Thank you much. That's great help, Sabrina. You, I really appreciate. It. And you started channeling. That's exciting. Yeah. If if it is a letter and said, you know, I'm a channeler because channelers, you don't have to pay us. Channelers, you bring more people. And I know being here, showing your face, being a channeler is is. Is great. It's uh, it's well, that's what what we do. We we are a hub of connection to the higher world, and yeah. we are the only one who does it for free. Mm -hmm. And notice on YouTube there is no ads. I don't turn ads. I turn off ads. Mm -hmm. So there is no well, ads there. It's, we we bring that connection. Anybody can come and speak to higher beings for free. Well, it's it's a very humbling experience to have an entity speak through you. And it's also very humbling to have to ask for money as well. Um, but the sincerity of what we do and the importance of what we do is paramount. So we want to keep going. And I think that um, everything we do is pretty heartfelt by a lot of people. And much love is going into this site. Much love. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much love I've experienced from you all and uh, the aliens have experienced as well and you guys are very giving and loving. So I have to say it's a very humbling experience sitting here where I'm sitting today and having so many wonderful people around us. And um, I just thank you very much for all that you do, all that you will do. So. Um, to me, it, it's just moving forward in a very positive way. We, we, we've got to, to make it happen. We just have to, as a team, as a community, make it happen because the messages are far too important to be lost. Yes, yes. And you had an Arcturian come in. Oh, my God, I was so excited. I saw that, Jim. That's beautiful, the Octurian. I love the wee. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, doing Reiki on Max. Yes, I saw that. Beautiful. It was doing Reiki on Max, and that's the first time an Octurian has come through me. Very first time. And it I was wasn't amazing. expecting it. <laughs> it was amazing how the Octurian, how he was looking around, and it was like he... It's like he knew exactly what he was doing. He was in full command. And it was oh, just, yeah. it was like he was uh, observing everything around him, taking it all in at once. It was just amazing. Yeah, it was really very cool. Calm, very collective, yes. Jim, very did you watch the video back? Yes? Did you watch the video back? No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, you must. It's, it's brilliant watching you talk. Oh, Cheerian, oh. really funny. 
Oh, really? <laughs> usually, I don't. Wa I usually just listen to them. I don't usually watch them because sometimes I feel like I look really silly. But <laughs> but uh, I do listen to some of them back. I haven't had time to listen to that one yet, but I'm going to. When was that? I missed that one. When was that? Last... It was just re very recent. It was Wednesday? Wednesday. The last, oh, okay. the last channeling uh, showing up on the website. If you look there, um, you you can see it. It's it's brilliant. <laughs> I, I saw, the, I saw the interview. The interview yeah. with Jim and Max was that in that same time? No, it no. was different, right? No, no, that's a different one. It was. Uh, I was doing a Reiki section for Max, and he was taping the Reiki session. And an Octorian came through and did Reiki on him and spoke Octorian and. Well, I th yeah, I think that particular channeling um, that happened there—it's very important. It, yes, very important. I wanted to add to Sabrina's words. Um, that was so important because you were going into the hybridization about. Max was asking about which which one—the Pleiadians, the Yael, the Lyrans—like what they would gain through uh, gaining their genetics, gaining some of their DNA, and for each one, for each group. And I think that was very important. Yes, it's Brian. It's called voluntary hybridization, Lakesh, a blue, and Arcturian, and the curve. That's yes. uh, the yes. most recent video. And, oh, and, if there's, and ask Max down the road if there's any others that join Griffick Near and others. Ask them also what they would gain from each one, because that's so important for us to know. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. also, what might be good is to know what do they gain by getting our DNA. Yes, yes, very important. Mm -hmm. Very good. I think that's probably the first Arcturian, right? That's ever been. I, I spoke to Arcturian before. Jim oh no, there's before. others. Meant, uh, but not on record. Right? Oh, in the world, yes, there were lots of other. There was others. Maybe yeah. at least five or ten oh, videos, okay. and okay. it was nice. It was a nice match. The reiki they do, they touch the acupuncture points like that. You see, like touch with two fingers, and like that, and like that, and they move around very quickly. So it is like Chinese medicine, but they do it really, really fast, and they speak really, really fast. Yeah, they. I, they, they oh, go ahead, Brian. There's um, that was fascinating how they were using the points of their fingers because I found another channel called the Wonders and they have a healing modality called Icy Maya and they use I'm gonna say not flip you guys off but they use the middle fingers and they go over <laughs> with Reiki with the middle fingers so yeah, just how they use it it's amazing how they use the tips of their fingers the energy the center point because the meridians that runs through the center so yes. I see that. Yes. When you do Reiki, the center finger is used for the symbols. Ah, I see. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I had a visitor before we started. Okay. Um, I, um, it was an Arcturian, I believe, and it was doing something, but I believe it was with my aura. Ah. So, cool. well, it was me doing <laughs> me. Um, so my like hand that. is very very hot today, so there's a lot of healing energy here. So okay. So you, the okay. visitor today before we started that webinar came to you. Yeah. And um, how do you know it was our under there. <laughs> Um, because of the feel of the energy, you know how I feel when I speak the Arcturian uh, uh -huh. language. And I, I can I can sense the energy. Did you communicate to him? No, it okay. was only doing what it was doing. I see. It it didn't want to hear anything from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I guess we we are ready to start Jim's channeling. Uh, the the circle of questions is sort of outlined. So you're welcome to start channeling, and then. After Jim is done, we can uh, bring other channels if they are ready to go through. I don't see Jaguar today. Okay, so yeah. Jim can, can start and 
Okay. Oh, after he finishes, maybe somebody can step out and Jaguar comes through. It would be nice. And Nick is here. Uh, let me check to see if he's even around. Okay. All right. So please mute yourself and uh, I'll mute Sabrina for now. And we'll start. Hello. Hello. One moment. This is Lakesh. Hey, Lakesh. Welcome to the webinar. You are live speaking. One moment, please. Yes. Okay. And you have Brian, Liney, Gabriel, Caitlin, Ravi, Nick, uh, Safira, Sabrina. Slava and 12 viewers. It will be becoming more popular. And you'll be coming. Sandy. Hello, the cash. Greetings. Greetings. Yes. Hello, la cash. Hello. Oh, yes. I have seen oh. these faces before, yes. Hello, la cash. Greetings, dear one. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you for your, your welcoming. Thank you. I welcome you all. How's your granddaughter coming along? Oh, she is growing like a bansky. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's growing like a bansky. Yes, that is like a um, fast-growing plant. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you say weed. <laughs> yes, weed. You, you call it weed, yes. <laughs> Do you have any announcements and news for us? Um, she is about ready to say her first words, but not quite yet. Okay. A few more days, perhaps. Is Bansky a word from your civilization? Yes. And it means weed in our civilization? It's a fast-growing plant. It, it is actually a genus title, but that is okay. It, it is colored as red and orange. Yes. A highly evolved mm -hmm. plant? Yes. Very quickly grow. It only takes several days to be in full life. Are they getting... It's, it's very interesting to learn about that plant, but we have so many other ocean things. Yes. What are your questions? Uh, I guess the most interesting one is the reptilians. Yes. Or the reptilian general, yes. or a cork. Is very insistent on in inviting everybody to the, uh, volunteer to get infusions of reptilian DNA. And uh, what would be your take on that? It is not always wise to jump into things. Okay. Um, I would uh, pray about that and find if it resonates with you. If it does resonate with you to get reptilian DNA, that means it will probably integrate well. If it does not resonate with you, you should not do that. You should do what resonates with yourself. I tell you that about many different things, but it is true with this as well. Hybridization is not always easy on a person. There are some people that do not do well with hybridization, and it cannot be removed. Remember this. Once you are put 
into action the hybridization. It can be stopped, but it cannot be removed. So therefore, you are with it the rest of your days here on Earth. You will not take it to your next life except in your, the shadow of your chakras and your past life regressions. But you will take it to you. You will have shadows of it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, it does. So be yes. Somebody said my name. I was wondering, having reptilian DNA... Yes. What kind of characteristics would that add to a person? It may not add anything to you, but then again, it may add sharpness of thought, being more channeled in your thought processes. In well, less channeled in your thought processes, but um, it depends on the individual, though. But it also adds a strength to you. It adds intellectual thought patterns that are not like those of humans. It's very numerical. So what else can I say about it? It can function with you very easily. It, it's actually very... It brings down your joy level, but yet brings up your insightfulness. It does not change your vibration, except that the, your joy is felt in a different way. It, it would bring down joy level in humans, though, I believe. So how do you know all of that? Where from do you gain this information? From watching other hybrids. How many reptilian hybrids are here on Earth? Many. I do not know the exact number. Okay. So you're watching them. How do they get their reptilian infusions? Do they get it from birth or infused later? Well, in the recent years, there hasn't been anything but by approval by those individuals. How do they know that they approve Because that? Well, but before that, they were given... Some reptilians were were giving humans hybridization without their knowledge and without the knowledge of Brookfick Near or any other federation, I will tell you. And this was experimental on their part. And they were also giving um, implants, which they were not allowed to do. So many of these things have been corrected, but the DNA cannot be removed. But there are several reptilian hybrids out there. And some have more than one hybrid. They brought along Pleiadian and yu Hill and how they got these DNAs were by um, request of those that were not part of any particular federations, which there are those that are neutral, of course. Huh? So they were able to do some interesting work. The cash. And actually it's being used today to study still. Yes. Lakesh, I had a, this is Brian, I had a question. Yes. Right. Um, with the DNA, also are the others, I know we, we talk mostly about the hybridization of, of Yael, of uh, Pleiadians, of uh, Octorians. Is yes. there um, also, how about the Syrians or Alpha Alpha Centauri or any of them? Are the are the others besides those? Yes, there are others that do their own things, but they haven't done anything recently. Most of their work had been done in a couple centuries ago. So there is remnants of their DNA in the human societies, but they found out what they needed to know long before now. Does that make sense to you? Yes, but awesome. They, but there is still those who would want to move forward in these programs in other areas. Like the, the Orions especially are interested in this kind of hybridization program, as well as the insectoids. But they have not had a successful hybrid program ever. And the reason is their DNA is too far different. It's always been rejected in humans. 
The other question real quick was the Syrians. Do the Syrians yeah. still, are they still, any of them, interested in joining Griffith Near? They have counseling programs. They do not seem interested in joining Griffith Near because they are already doing their part to help humanity, and they see it as um, not necessary to join this alliance because they do conference with them and share information so they are not attached directly. Okay, thank and this you. this is their way. This is their way. But they are helping, yes. So how is the DNA delivered? Is it through viruses? No, it is not. No. Is it through stem cells? Yes, that would be more of a better explanation. Yes, these stem cells are the stem cells themselves are hybridized. Yes. They are worked on and they are made to become part of the human system much quicker. Yes. And they are intensified. Yes. So the hybridization would be mosaic. It wouldn't be the whole body, it would be some sort of tissues that hybridized. There is a certain area which they use for hybridization in humans. I am not to give details of that. But it is a specific area of the brain and of the body that they use for hybridization, not always using the brain, but especially the body. But some people have hybridization that came in through the brain, and some have hybridization that came in through the body. Does that that's your question. Yes. Uh, I appreciate for us uh, for being careful not to spill too much information. Yes, I will like to see you often, so I will not spill. Uh, and it's nice you took the class on biology, so you can understand the questions I'm asking. Yes, I have actually. Well, no, I cannot say that. Okay? That's fine. So, uh, are they physically injecting, like there is a syringe and you go into the brain and inject, or you go transdimensionally, just implant the syringe? Transdimensionally, it, it first becomes a hologram, and then they solidify the hologram into material, and it is laid exactly the proper way against the skin the internal muscles, skins, whatever you want to call that. And the membranes. Yes, that's a better one. Yes, membranes. And they are then immediately absorbed by them. Uh -huh. So would there be a rejection reaction for that, like fever or something? One in 723. Uh, now I need to take a statistics class. You need to give a confidence interval and uh, things of that sort. All right. Thank you. For, uh, so a guide is attached. So if you invite certain species, a guide is assigned to you to watch over you. Is it right? A four-dimensional one. It was not correct originally, but now they are seeing the necessity for guides over those who channel. They would like only positive energies to be absorbed into those people. That's a great answer on a different question. How about the ones who hybridize? If someone invites a hybridization of reptilian, will they get a reptilian observer? Always. Always. You get an observer of those hybrids that are within you because those are the the individuals that would understand changes within the body, know how to use the modifications to help humans to become more normal if they start pro showing greater alien effects in their lives and bodies, mind thoughts, etc. So what, what would be the abilities of this observer to influence a human? 
positive or negative. They would just be able to help them with some of the the effects, side effects, and also if there was a necessity for adjustment on an implant, they could do that as well. If there was other things medical going on which they cannot deal with, then they have to get in touch with their superiors. Uh huh. So Zeta Grace apparently wants to to control the humans. Would they put implants and hybridize humans to get control over them? Wait a moment. Yes. Uh -huh. Do um, also that just brought up a great question. Um, do the Zeta Grays do they use the Men in Black as agents? Who uses the Men in Black? There are several different species that use the men in black for different reasons. They use them as relays of information. They use them as uh, experiments in the sense that they will ask them what they believe should be the outcome of certain things. Humans have a certain understanding of what should be and these men in black are trained to answer questions and taught the effects of all hybridization that's part of what their training is and so they can be actually a backup to those that are guarding individuals they also go undercover to understand what's going on in the reptilian world sort of double agent kind of work, if you might say that. They do many, many, many things. Um, so... Humans who are men in black? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are other aliens that are also considered men in black as well. But so... Are they really? Are they really not evil? Are they? Are they really like an evil no, intention? They are or are they just, just more of the observers? Suppressor they sometimes? Are, they are governmental, but they are more of a free agent governmentally. Mm -hmm. They government does not know how to control them, so they do not. They do have some rules and some things that do not like do not interfere with the world's ways, do not interfere with anything that government has in their control, things of this nature. But when it comes to dealing with alien on alien or human to alien, they are given much free reign because the government does not understand and as actually feels sort of that it is not a great importance yet to micromanage these people. So the last question I have about them is, if we're ever, any of us or others are confronted with them, do we just send love? Yes. You will know, actually, some of you will know when there is a man in black or men in black nearby. They have a distinguished energy. Oh. They have a distinguishable energy, which is extreme neutrality. You, have you ever run into a person that is extremely neutral? A couple times, yes. These could be men in black because they are not allowed, they are trained to hide all emotional exuberance or in positive and negative. So they will appear not to be of a high vibration necessarily, although this is just part of their training that masks, it's almost a mask of their aura, if you will. So our fear of them is just our unknown, uh, the unknown, because they're not giving off an emotion. Correct. Ah, now I understand. They're, they're so neutral, they're push and pull, we, they don't give a, get a reaction, we can't get a reaction out of them. It is safer for them not to react. I understand. If you encounter a man in black, you can 
say that you're a member of Human Colony and a friend of Lakesh, Lakesh the current is doing. They are aware of all of you. Yes. Anyone that visits Human Colony is of great interest to Men in Black. I send much love to them. Like I said, the government and to them, it's just we're gaining, we're all gaining information for each other and helping raise the vibration of the planet. There are actually ten Men in Black listening right now. Okay. Can I just make a statement? Yes. I got interrupted um, by my on, on by my neighbor who just said we had a van full of people dressed in black outside in the car park asking about renting our rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange synchronicity. Oh, well. um, but I'm going to drop now because Ellie would like to ask a question and there's not enough space, so I'm just going to drop and listen in. That, and that's your, why... Roy, that's why I, I brought that up, because I just wanted to know how to confront them or how to send love to them without push and pull so much, you know? Yeah, I, I totally agree. Oh, sorry, I totally understand. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Lakesh, I have a question, and then I will also drop off for a little while. And my question is, of, um, somebody I know from the human colony was told through another channel that her DNA, which she gave or her eggs, which she gave for hybridization recently was in embryo stage or higher, depending on the linear point of view. So, to your knowledge, uh, has has our donations have our donations been used uh, for hybridization? Has something been done with them now? Within this last program? Yeah, within the last week. Since last week, you said nothing's been done yet. Yes, um, I was not aware of anything. One moment, please. And I will okay. check for you with those people in charge of that. Thank you. Hello, Lucky. Do you hear me? Just a second. He is chicken. Yes, we hear you. There seems to be some activity going on in that area at this time. I am not allowed to divulge any information, and they are a bit troubled that information has come out. However, it did not come out from a Grokfiknir element, but someone that was observing it. So that made them a neutral party that has given this information. Yeah. But yes, they did not want to make this public yet. However, no mm. harm done. No harm done. Mm. But I cannot speak more about it yet. Okay. Thank you, Lakesh. Thank you. Hello, Lakesh. Hello, Hello. Ellie. How are you? Hello, everyone. Much love. I mean, yes. I'm at home with my baby. Yes. We're having a lot of fun here. Yes. I wanted yes. just to say hello, much love from me. And Lakesh, I remember in my dream, like uh, some days ago, I woke up talking to you, and it was like a pure channeling. I'm not sure if it was a dream or not, but you just, at the end, you told me you have to go and uh, take your granddaughter for a walk and you were like, you remember I have a granddaughter, right? Yes. But Let me tell you what it was. Okay. It was the beginning of your channeling, yes. You have received your... Uh, let me explain. Those of you who have become recent channelers had had a language first, is that not correct? You were yes. given a language before you started channeling. Ali, you have received a language before you start channeling. Let me explain how this works. They have discovered that if you can... there, It is much easier to put a language into a human than to have them channel. However, whenever this language is used, they can hone in on the channeling area much easier. 
Does that make sense to you? Because yes. it it is part it is part coming from outside and part coming from within. Because these uh, I I can no, not sure if I can explain it correctly, but it does connect with the channeling area, mm. but okay. not directly. Putting a language in does not directly work through the channel area. When they put the, the language in, it is close. They can put it in close to the channeling area because the area is open wide enough to get something in. Whereas Sabrina gets many different, she has many different openings for languages. But then the channel they can find, they can hone in on that channel just like I can through the language. It moves toward, it shows where toward the, 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 the channel center is. And I can't explain it better than that except to use terms that are alien and you would not understand them. From what I understand, um, they look for a way that it could be easily translated in our minds so we can get the message right and Correct. we can just say it out loud. Yes. In this I love area, you. I love you all, guys. Love you too. I have to go. I love you and I'll, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hello, Lakesh. Hello, Gabriel. I have felt a lot of any these few days, like a lot, lot of adjustment. What? Oh, what energy! Excellent. Has your sleep Could... patterns become better? Are yes, you a little bit? They will continue to work on that as well through the orb. You have but you are making amazing strides with the orb. Try not to go too fast. Acknowledge all the changes, the small ones as well as the larger ones. Everything comes through feeling for me now. Yes. So I just feel like going into meditation and then I just go into it, then I follow the feeling. Yeah. Very good. The cash? Yes. I, my question also is right. um, for Brian. Um, the channeling that I will start to be doing down the road, is it more from my guidance of the golden ones, or is it something different? There will be many reasons. Many messages, and not just for the golden ones. But the golden ones are important because they do not come through many. Yes. You must have a certain attunement with the sky and the earth to be able to channel the golden ones because they are very, very high frequency. Yes. And you must be able to hear that frequency because you, that's when you will know that they are coming. I'm feeling a lot of the presence, certain presences around me. I'm yes. starting to get feeling now. I was just you, wondering. Yes. When you lay down in your bed, listen carefully for frequencies. All right. You may hear a very, very low frequency, and then you may hear a higher frequency. But you have to tune into it. Okay. You understand? I understand. And these frequencies will help you with your channeling. They will be, they are frequencies of the ship's vibrations yes. that are close by. And also, when you tune into these frequencies for you more than for others, this will help you to discover the high golden frequency. I realize that sometimes when I why when I invest all my physical senses like the smell, the hearing, like music or something, it really brings it grounds me more. Yes. These tones are will be like um 
equalization for you. They will become like Ohm. You will become part of them. They will be part of you and you will be able to move out into the, their energy. Do you understand that? I do understand that. Thank you, Lakesh. In the different frequencies, you will not always be in one frequency. You will be moving out in as you move out, you will gather frequencies. Do you understand? But yeah. don't let it don't let it make you your brain all fuzzy. Let yeah. let it just be what it is. Do not concentrate. After after you have gathered the frequency, just let it go and then move out. And you will feel them and hear them and it will help you with the golden frequency. Thank you so much, dear one. Don't let uh, it bother you. Yes. Lakesh? Yes. I have a question. Um, yesterday I was writing out my shopping list and I started, I just felt like I just wanted to keep writing and I ended up writing out a load of scribble. Yes. <laughs> what does it look like scribble? Um, what was that? Was I channeling something? Or yes, you were. You were doing spiritual writing. And it was a necessity. There was something that you needed to get out of your system that this scribble, you came out onto the paper. It came out onto the paper. You took it with you to the store to buy your things. And then what happened to it? Um, what? The... Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I felt kind of a lot better after doing it. Yes, and, you know, this is right. Because what you did was get rid of something in your system that needed to come out. Yes, it is a, a, a source of freeing yourself from um, trapped emotions. And that is why you continue to write it out. Now, if you still have that paper, no one can read it, of course, but I would take it and destroy it. And I'll tell you why. Because this is these trapped negative emotions that have come out on this paper and you say whatever emotions these are, please just get rid of them completely and forever. And they will be gone. These are the kinds of emotions that are not possessing you. You do not possess them and so they can be obliterated completely. Right. Okay, yeah, that's really helpful. Thanks. I, okay. I did may not I, okay. get to yeah. ask my question. Yes. Did I channel the orb inside of me or not? Um, that is a good question, Gabriel, because in some senses you did. They, your channeling ability... Your well, let's change that. Your ability for spiritual understanding and your ability for high spiritual vibration was noticed by those who control the orbs, and they saw the necessity for it. And so, therefore, in some ways, you did draw it to you. I'm not sure if channeling is the right word, but it was drawn to you, and they did send it with intention. That's a go good movement. They could put it inside of me. Yes, it was a good movement, and you have done exceptionally well with it. Glad to hear. Caitlin oh, has a question now. Caitlin. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, the other day I started speaking another language. Yes. And I really don't know what language it is, but I feel like it was Lyran. Could you verify that for me? What, can what you language get it was? for me? Okay, well, there's two words that I remember. So, Aish Kata. Yeah, Aish Kata. Yes, it is Lyran, yes. Okay. Um, you will start speaking more of it. It will come to you. One moment, please. Okay. They will bring it to you as you continue to open. Meaning like if I let go and just start saying it? 
Yes. And Do not. not be afraid of what you are saying. It is a dialect of Lirin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, also, can I ask about the feeling I get from when I say certain things, too? Because as soon as I start saying them, my heart feels like it's really full. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a, it's a form of telepathic love I send out to all people listening. I love everyone here. I want them to know that my spirit is of love. My intention is of love. My information is of love as well. And if you do feel that strongly, then you feel what I am sending out every time I do these things. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and I feel love coming from you as well. Thank you. It's just, it was a weird feeling because I was... I but it was a good it. feeling. Yeah, it was a good feeling. I didn't feel anything negative. It was just so weird because I've never felt that before. And I was like, why is my heart feeling like this? That is okay. Just understand that it is the acceptance <laughs> of the love that I am sending. Okay, so is... You said that people that receive these languages, this is a, a beginning of channeling, kind of? It can be, yes. They have discovered that if they can put a language into a human being, the chances of them being able to chan channel are much higher. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Thank it's you for that. But you had seen, we had human colony, your human colony had a great amount of languages come to them. People have found you because of the languages they are speaking. Mm -hmm. And this has turned into five channelers now. They all are able to speak languages. Oh. Yes. Thank you for answering my questions. I'm very grateful. <clears throat> You are welcome, and just keep moving in the path that you are going. I know you see aliens a lot more than most. Your, your sensitivity toward the fourth dimension is very high, so I would imagine you will be able to channel, because that energy is awake in you. You have a slight fear of it, though, and that is what you must overcome. Okay. Thank you very much. I will try to overcome those fears. And yes, here, do not worry. I, I, I had a, I had a thing Wait, for, I, I had a thing for Caitlin. Um, Caitlin, okay. when you do that, when you start to also, the people around you, your family members, sometimes it's it's it can be hard for those to accept you. But just know in your heart that you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path, and just find people that really support you around you to, to really push that through. Yeah, thank you very much. That's what I've been trying to do lately. Yeah. I know it's what what you just said, it pretty much relates to that because my family kind of just is really negative about that stuff, but I really don't listen to what they say because I know what I see every day. I know what I feel every day. I know what I experience. I can I'm, feel that. You in in and probably Nick can pick up on that too and, and others. It's it's fear of what others think and the family members. That's the hardest thing. I'm going through that right now too. A lot of us are. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's hard. The to find fear that will go when you are ready to channel. Yes. yes. You, you will defi definitely have the capacity. I have checked it out with someone just now. But you must get rid of your fear and grow a little more, just a little more, before they will speak directly to you. Okay. So the fear, is this the fear of grace? No, not great. <laughs> I, I don't know. What, I don't really know what fear it is. It, oh, wait, it is no. Fear, I, it is a fear of the unknown. Oh, okay, yes. I know, what you, I know what you mean now. It's because sometimes because at my time when I go out, I will feel like some weird noises, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I get so scared because I just don't know what is going to happen. So Do not fear. Things will happen as they happen for you in the right time frames. Okay. I just, I was scared because I was like, I don't want a random alien popping out of nowhere and saying, hey there. I would just, 
Uh, that's what I'm like kind of nervous about because yeah, that's how I, it happened. I was scared of that for so long. I just felt like they're gonna keep popping out. I just like couldn't I couldn't handle yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I because I can I could sense oh, when oh, sometimes I sense it. Two actors channeling and uh, and uh, let Lakir speak. I, I have several more questions for Lakir, but is, is anybody else uh, who wants to speak? Dude, yeah, yes, I, I, I wanted Sorry. to ask a question. Yeah, Sabrina, yes. Um, yeah, I wanted to know how can I better, since I speak so many languages, to be able to tell which one's what if they could, I don't know, tell me or something. Because um, I, was, I was helping her. Um, but I wasn't quite sure what language I was speaking because it didn't quite sound that Lyran to me. Um, and then I ended up channeling and the entity was speaking to her. Yes. Let um, me tell you something. One of your languages is Elohim language. Hmm. Correct? I don't know. The spiritual language you speak, the angel language you speak. Are you aware of it? No. There is an angel language that you speak. Can it Sabrina not often that you speak it? But whenever you discover which language that is, that will be the first one you, you will actually know what it is. Sabrina, can you speak any of that right now? Any of which? The Elohim, or the, any of the spiritual language. She doesn't. Um, Just a little bit. I, you do have I, it. I do have it. Yes, I don't but know because I speak do not, so If you many. cannot speak it at this time, it is not meant to be spoken. But okay. it is a language that will help you differentiate between the languages because the spirit will help you with that. You okay. are at the beginning of your channeling, channeling journey so things are confusing now but they will straighten out, they will come apart, they will, will become separate channels for you and you will understand but be patient. We know that you are a woman of action and prefer action over just sitting around doing nothing. And so we know that also that in this sense you would like to know all the things about what you are doing right away. It will not happen <laughs> that way. Yeah. No, only because, you know, I was I was helping Caitlin, but yeah. I couldn't I, I helped her speak the language because I had her we were going back and forth to to get her to speak more. Oh yes, and you were trying to speak. You were speaking a dialect of Lyran with her. Is that correct? Yes, but because and it I, did not sound like the Lyran that Takur speaks or that Jaguar speaks. A, exactly, because it yeah, seems well, that. That's why I said it is a dialect of Lyran. Right. It is. There are Lyrans literally all over the galaxy because their home planet is no more. But they pick up different dialects from different planets that they visit. Do you understand? Yes. So it has the basis of the Lyran language, but with, what do they call it? Your planet calls it colloquialisms. Yeah, because so I... So you have some colloquialisms with this form of Lyran. Now, Takur speaks very pure, ancient... Lyran that's come through many generations and has not much changed due to the fact that they can record and listen and and so when you have these kind of devices centuries ago you you learn it just as it was. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So when these no. others have gone to other planets they have let themselves be influenced by some of the languages, and therefore, it does not sound exactly the same. Right, and I, and I guess that one. Yes. Right. That that's why I was throw. Yeah, I just want to be able to tell this is this language. I don't need to know. I I know they don't want me to know yet what I'm saying. That I'm fine with that. Yes. Um, 
just for helping others, it would be nice if I could tell, okay, this is Lyran, this is Arcturian. You are, that able, kind to, of, you are able to tell some of your languages. Yes. You know Arcturian well. You know yes. this Lyran was available to you and you spoke it. And you knew that it was Lyran, but you had a doubt. But it is Lyran. Right. Okay. Now... Will come in focus for you, yes. It's the entity, the entity that I channeled when I was with Max. Was that a a, a Lyran? Which one? I do not remember. So many people have spoken so many things. I think he didn't want. He wasn't allowed to say. So asking Lakesh is not appropriate. Shh. He was if he certainly do... benevolent, benevolent and. Since he didn't want to say, it's not appropriate to ask. Ah, him. yes, I am not allowed to say. If they do not tell you, then they do not want it to be I known asked him yet. Many times yes. he, he, would, he wasn't able because basically you are prohibited from knowing many things at the moment, and his job is uh, he cannot jeopardize his job. He's helping you, Sabrina. Okay. I want you. Uh, to invite, if you want, it's a good opportunity for you to ask about your health if you feel comfortable. And Lakesh, be uh, uh, be respectful of not exposing to public too much. But if you can help, that would be great. Um, I have I have some health issues, and part of my question was if it has anything to do with the implant. One moment, please. I will seek out to pass one moment. The pay is our Pleiadian friend on this dude's ship. Nothing. The implant affects nothing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so because I probably got her when I was small, so. Yes. The implant affects nothing, but they can help you with your maladies, the some portions of it, not everything they can fix, but um, I will just tell you that he will send you some energy one moment. Yes. They will send you some energy. And if they give it to me, I will send it to you now. But I am getting the distinct feeling that he wants to send it himself. Okay. All right. And um, one last question. I have... Um, a visitor that um, by a that comes by um, and it makes my furniture creak <laughs> at the same pretty much almost at the same time yes and yes and I don't know if they want me to know who it is or not it, but that is not an alien though that is not an alien. That is a spirit. Okay. And the reason why they are wanting you to know that they are there is because they want you to spend some time with them in in a meditation. They want to speak to you. Are this relatives? I cannot is say. The spirit will identify 
itself at the appropriate time. But yes, it is a spirit that has had alien visitation in the past and is now in spirit form and would like to speak to you through a meditation. Would that be okay with you? Through a meditation? Um, yeah. It, it said, uh, good energy spirit? Yes. Okay, yeah. They have information that might help you. Okay. All right. And then my last question was, when you were talking about the uh, hybrids being assigned a a a guardian, a person that be with them. Yes. A being. Um. But don't we all have a guardian? Yes. Don't we all have guardians. Self. Yes, your higher self is a guardian of such. And so, you have. Angelic, they can call in angelic guardians as well, but these are alien guardians. You have spiritual nope. guardians, but angelic and alien guardians are different. Not everyone has alien guardians. Right, but why do we need an alien guardian if we have the other guardians? And wouldn't also our vibration determine what kind of spirits we can channel? Let me explain why you have the, the alien guardian. It is not necessarily for all for your sake. It's for their sake as well. They want to know if there's any changes coming within you. They want to know if your brain's patterns change. They want to know if physiology changes. These things are for their information as well, not just for your protection. However, they are there for your protection as well, even though you do have spiritual guardians, because you, they have inserted their DNA within you, and therefore, angelic may not recognize that as part of your original perfect self. Oh. So, so they may not be able to re recognize, without the guardians letting them know, that this is not what should be happening. Does that make sense to you? Yes, perfect sense. Thank Good. you. Okay, that's it. Lakesh, I've got a question. Well, it's a couple of questions, actually. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, first one, I've got... It seems to be a group of um, spirits or entities that kind of live with me. Um, I've had a little bit of communication with, with one of them. Uh, one was a Lyran. Yes. Um, I, I put a little post up on the Human Colony site about it. Um, but in that same evening, I was visited um, while I was trying to go to sleep uh, by, I think there was about three, three beings. Two were kind of holding down my feet, and one was uh, doing some kind of energy scan on my arm. And yeah. I was just, uh, they, they didn't want me to know who they were. But I, I was wondering if you could perhaps kind of Fill me in a little bit of what may have been going on, who they might have been, what they were doing. I know what they were doing. Let me see if I'm allowed to say who they are. I know exactly what they were doing. Well, let me start with that and see if they answer me. I will... They were scanning you to see if you there were implants in you, for one thing. They were looking for reptilian implants that were, that were not authorized. And they were also checking to see if you have the ability for possible channeling in the future. They also, there was a malady in your body which they found interesting and they wanted to examine it. However, I'm not sure why they did not want to know, want you to know who they were because it doesn't really make sense to me that they would not want you to know. However, they are not answering me. One moment, please. They will tell. Let me tell you that they were Pleiadians. Okay. 
They will not let me tell you their names, but they said there is no harm in telling you that they are Pleiadians. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. They did have a mission, yes. And it's not... They said their names are not important. They will not be visiting you again. Okay. Others yeah. will be visiting you, but not them. Yeah, it seems to have been um, different groups over the past kind of week, I guess. And it's... I don't know, parts of me are kind of a little bit fearful. But I yeah. think that could just be me trying to settle my kind of... my beliefs about it all. Did you have a malady of some sort within your chest or abdomen? I've got breathing problems, but ah, that's what not had anything too, too kind of noticeable recently. They were checking on that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Actually, they helped it. They did help you. This was... Ah, oh, it's much more clear now. Um, breathing problems can be uh, a problem with interdimensional travel as well. So they would want to help breathing if there was any problems there. I do spend a lot of time going inward and visiting astrally. Yes. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I go. All I know is that I go there and I'm there. <laughs> it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a fun experience. Yes. Continue. Um, another... it, is unhurtful, it is actually good for your fourth dimensional energy as it awakes and moves in different areas. Okay, cool. Um... I've forgotten the, the second question I had now. Um, I'll, I'll come back to it when I, when I remember it. Excellent. Pro probably, uh, probably meant to happen. All right. Lakesh? Uh, yes? I've got a quick question. Um, on Tuesday night, around midnight, I heard a strange noise upstairs. Um, it, it kind of was like twice I heard it. Um, and... I don't know what it was. What did it sound like? I think it I was, know. It was like a warble kind of sound, like an animal. I thought it was it was like almost like a bird, but it was definitely not a bird. I was pretty sure it wasn't a bird. Yes. Mm. One moment. Thank you. It You have many aliens around you at, at many times of the day. You are one of the ones that have ch a child that is being taught. Okay. There are many aliens. They, that was an alien, yes. It was um, just an observer. I don't think that... He won't identify himself, but he is not harmful. Just an observer, a scientist. Okay, yeah, because it was quite, uh, it's very like a physical, you know, it's like a definite sound sort of thing. And I was thinking, oh, do I have upset? It was like almost they're at, they're at the top of the stairs making a sound. It was a, a scientist. I would like to ask a few questions which are important for others as well. Uh, so do you have any news on... Aaron colonies on Earth. So they created three colonies in violent applications. What is happening? They are being sort of a little bit secretive until they get it totally set up. But they are announcing that they have three colonies on Earth that will be for people who cannot travel interdimensionally. This was started by someone outside of Grokvignir, but an Aaron king. Kinjin. Kinji. Uh -huh. Yes, more information will come in the future. Very good. Um, suppose, switching the topic, suppose uh, a person wants to invite Syrian infusion of serious, serious uh, people from Syria, the, the positive ones. Uh, would, 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 he, would he apply on the website? 
Yes, they do see your website, and you do have contact with a Syrian. Cynthia, yes. Yes, Cynthia. So, one moment, and I will let her know, because I am in direct contact with her. Yes. And see what she has to say, because they are not part of a hybridization program at this time. Yes. I am Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia, welcome. Your live broadcast, and the question was, if someone wants to invite inhibition of your species, would it be appropriate to apply on the website? You may do so. Yes. We have no program to do such things at this time. We already know the outcomes in many fashions. Would the hybridization program be for the individual or for our research as well? Both. It will be considered. Uh, what, exp what outcomes would people expect, should people expect if they get an infusion of Syrian DNA? Past outcomes have been quite calming for humans. They become too calm, actually, and so that is one of the reasons why the program was discontinued. No matter what percentage of our DNA was entered into the human being, they became lethargic. They were nevertheless very happy, but there was no drive to do any work specifically. We discovered that the DNA had a direct influence on the pituitary gland, mm -hmm. and no matter what percentage was given, the pituitary was always affected. So would it be fair to say that people who are hyperactive might benefit from it? We have not tried hyperactivity. One moment. Oh. You are suggesting to try it on hyperactive. If hyperactive people would invite it, I we all always at, want them uh, people to volunteer. At the time when we were doing these experiments, it appeared that everyone was hyperactive. But yes, if there is a chance for the program to reopen, which I do not see in the near future. That would be one area that might be studied. Okay, we will leave it at that. Thank you very much. Do you have any more messages or announcements? Not at this time. I need to advise your advice as a neutral representative of a neutral race. Uh, we've been invited by Lieutenant General Rockork to volunteer for. Reptilian DNA infusions. What would you advise in that aspect? What would be your advice? Do you want reptilian infusion? We don't know what would be the outcome and how much of uh, freedom would you give away for that? I would so. suggest if you do get reptilian DNA that it would be a small amount. I don't think a person has a control over amount. Jim was the first one to volunteer, and the only one who I know. He says he asked for a small amount. Yes. One moment. Let me check his... Yeah. 
interesting. He has had times of frustration and aggravation, as he puts it. But it comes and goes, but it has not been so for a day now. This is the effect of the reptilian hybrid that they have started to infuse in him. It is not harming him in any way. Uh, are the motives of this reptilians honorable? I cannot see their intention. One moment, and I will check. The intention has many perspectives, most of which are honorable, some are selfish, but all hybridizations have some selfish motives. Yes. I'm asking for a secret agenda. Would they want to control the humans which would be injected? I do not see that as part of their agenda. Thank you. That That is very helpful. Yeah, that helps much, and I'm glad to hear that answer. The ones that are working with Jim have good intentions. Very good. There are others that would not. I see. So in general, for the whole hybridization program, there could be some negative implications for humanity. Always ask for the good. The bad cannot come where they are not invited. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your visit. I am bringing back Ooh, yes. Lakesh, so there was one interesting question. There was a truck with men in black, or with people in black, hey. which was visited, visiting uh, a neighbor of Ravi. Could you check if it was real men in black, or just a coincidence? I'm not sure we have Lakesh. Yeah, we have Lakesh. <clears throat> He's just not fully connected. Yes, I am. It is hard being pushed aside. Welcome back. You're very welcome, and thank you very much. It was a great session. It's hard being pushed aside. I'm not used to it, but it was worthwhile. Yes, one of one, one of those men dressed in black was a man in black. He was being camouflaged by the other black. You will not know which one it is. But there was a reason. Yes. Roby, correct? Yes. He's muted. Roby. Roby. Rowie. Yes. Hello. Yes. Rowie. Oh. Yes. It's not Roby. It's Rowie. It's Rowie. 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 One of them was in Yes. What was the reason for them to visit? It was because of Rowie. You're stirring some energy, Rowie. <laughs> Rowie. <laughs> it is not important what he, I do not know what he wants, but he was designated for your to be observed, so So do the men in black have to wear black? They can they wear jeans? They can be anything. Can they be a bird? No. Okay. I mean, any kind of human. All right. Any more questions to Lakesh? I have to go soon. Well, yes, yeah, LJ, Laura has a question she would like to answer. Ask. Yes. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Who is this? Hi, Laura. Hello, Jay. Yes. Um, I'd like to Hello. know if you can tell me uh, what happened last night. I think I had a visitation. There have been many visitations lately, haven't there? Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You were visit frightened? No. Good. This was part of the reason for the visitation. One moment, please. Okay, thanks. You are being observed. You are being actually tested for some reason. Do you know why? They will not tell me why you are being tested, but you are being observed. I know why that is. Okay. But the testing, I'm not sure of. No, I don't know either. Of course, they don't tell me everything anymore. <laughs> they tell me very little. <laughs> um, who is it that's observing me? Is it my Yale guardian? Yes. And uh, and another Yu Gi Oh. There's were there was more than one there. Okay. Um, I have an application on my on my phone which is called Sleep Talk that records noises throughout the night while I'm sleeping. And yes. Keeps, the data keeps getting deleted, and I'm getting a bit annoyed with it. Um, who's doing that? If they do not want to hear them to hear you. If they do not want you to hear them talking, they will delete it. And mm -hmm. since there is more than one, there is conversations going on while you're asleep, and they do not want those conversations recorded, because part of those conversations are in English, and you would know exactly what they were saying. Okay, why is it that I'm not included in that then? You Those will be eventually. Okay. You weren't. Uh, it's not time for you to be included yet. Okay. But you will be. Actually, your subconscious is already aware because whenever they speak, and you are in the room, your subconscious gathers everything that is happening. So your subconscious already knows. Does this make sense to you? Mm. Yeah, it does. Okay. And so it will come out later what they were talking about because. You're just not, it's not yet the time. Okay. Um, one other quick question, Lakesh. Um, yeah. I've got a private session with Jim on Tuesday. Could you come, are you free to come along to have a chat with me then? I am already there. Great, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll meet myself now. Thanks, everyone. Yes. I have, thank you, uh, Jay. I have one more question. A lady, uh, currently from, uh, a French lady from New York City, is asking me every day, and I'm telling her join our webinar, but she's technically uh, not ready yet. So, ah. so her question is very simple. She applied to visit Boy Colony, and you said she will be visiting soon, and she doesn't remember. Have she been taken to the colony? No. No, Curly has not. There is a couple things that they are observing right now, and she will be interviewed soon, but it has not happened yet. Uh, also, there was an information, confusing information from different channels about your husband. Can you uh, check out if he's a hybrid? I know for you, it's, again, it's, it can be mm, hidden from you, but if you can. One moment. I have detected some hybrid in him, but I am not permitted to give percentages or, or what it is. Um, but yes, Curly, he does have some. I am just, it's hard to detect at times. There are things about him that are interesting and hard to read. Okay. Brian, are you there? You wanted to say something? Yes, hello, the cash. Yes. 
Much love, Lakesh. Namaste. Namaste. My name is Brian. Hi, Brian. How are you today? I am well. Very well. Very good to hear that. Um, I have a couple of questions, but um, I feel like some of the questions I need to ask is the right person I should be asking to is my guardian. Ah. Um, but I do have some questions for you. Yes. Um, <clears throat> just recently, I don't know if I should be speaking about this, but um, I if believe I know. A, I believe I know a language. And yes. I just want to know if it's ET or not. Yes. Can you speak it? Um, I could if I close my eyes. Yes. Can I try? Close my eyes and speak it. <clears throat> It is coming. Yes, I hear it. It's Liren. Can you hear the Liren in there? Yes, it is coming. It is not clear, real clear yet. I mean, it's definitely Liren. But it, it it's growing. It's getting better, yes. Oh, Perfect. yeah. Thank you so much, Lakesh. I, yes, have, I, 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 yes. I have been feeling differently, and I don't know, but I've been having a lot of positive vibes, and everybody that I have come in contact with always loves talking to me because they feel that positive energy towards me. From me, sorry. Wonderful. This is very good. Yes, it definitely is, Liren. And it's uh, just open your mouth and let it come out. You're like blocking some of the words with your mouth, I think. But yes. uh, it is Hello? It seems that they got blocked. Oh, they went down. They might not be allowed to share or not. Ah. Some, sometimes that happens that they just block if there's information that's not allowed to be shared. Yes, I understand. I understand. That's pretty cool, Brian. That's pretty Thank cool. You. Brian, yeah, I actually... Much, lo sorry, much sorry. love to you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say much love to you and, and just let it come out. And Do you ever find that you the people around you, like your family, do they support this? Uh, my mother, uh, I've, I've talked to my mother about it. Um, she's very iffy about it. Yeah, just she, she, she's she, she's a church lady. She, like she likes to go to church a lot, and she follows yeah. the Bible a lot. Yes. Um, same with my family. We're very yeah. Catholic, and so yeah, it's really same. hard. Yes, yeah. yes. The one that actually is uh, that gives me some more support is my brother, my younger brother. Stick he, to I, him and just work with him, and slowly he'll see. You know, through you guys, or your mother will see through you guys. You know what I mean? It'll just it'll, yeah. it'll come out. But just, so like, let, just just explain that it's kind of like gift of the spirit. It really is. Yes, yes, the talking yes. in tongues. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, my mother. My mother does believe me, but she doesn't believe a little. Yes. You like she, yes. she wants to believe because I'm her son, right? And she knows that I have the <laughs> gift, and you know. <laughs> She's gonna yeah, always love you no matter what. No, exactly. They'll eventually come around. I'm exactly. so proud of you, man. Good luck in what you do. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you for everybody. You know, I feel like a family. I've been actually watching these videos since day one, pretty much. And I finally had the opportunity to come on the webinar, and because I got to go to work soon, so I had the opportunity to come. Yeah. But I also want to yeah. say, yeah. But do but make sure you practice. Uh, this is Sabrina. Yes, yeah, Sabrina, um, you are Sabrina. I just wanted to say congratulations on channeling, and uh, oh, thank you. I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah, I'm very happy to hear that you can channel now and you have that gift. So I've been watching for a long time. I know who you are. Yeah. Okay, so just. Just do practice like 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 Brian said. Do practice with with your brother, mm -hmm. so that you can get it flowing, and and you'll start pronouncing it slowly, better and better. And if you're by yourself, just speak it. Just make sure nobody, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't you don't look too crazy, but. No. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, but, thank you. But uh, still, we can get together and practice this. It would be very fun. And just yes. and, and look at it from this point of view. It all comes from God. It, it is does. all a part of God. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. You know, just recently, yesterday, I've been feeling. I woke up and I was looking for my keyboard, 
and all of a sudden I just started like rhyming stuff out of nowhere. <laughs> that's it. That, that's your inspiration coming through. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. What I'm, I'm, really, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was gonna say I was I'm really Hi. looking forward right. to his first contact for sure. Hello. We were just yes. right when Lakesh left. Something yes, we, just... we kept going. Don't worry. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I might have had something to do with that. <laughs> what? I apologize. The cut the connection. Yes. Maybe something that I wasn't supposed to be hearing hearing, right? So how could you do that? You, I mean, it was. It says our computer lost internet connection, and then they said the session is closed, and then it just stored about about after five minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, Max and Jim, I wanted to say hello. My name Hi. is Brian. Hi, Brian. I, I wanted to say thank you for all the work you guys do. I've been watching you guys since day one for a long oh, time. Wow. Now. Thanks. Yes. Um, when I have the opportunity, I will donate something. It's just uh -huh. at the present time, it's tough times right now. Yeah, a lot of people. Thank you. Yes, yes. But I will. Uh, I just want to send send my love towards you guys, and I appreciate all the work that you guys do for us. Thanks. Giving out truth, wisdom, advice, you know, some to the whole world, basically, you know. And a lot of people don't realize that there is life out, out of this planet. And oh well, yeah, there are, there are positive and there are negative beings, and just the positive ones are just trying to give us the truth. And the fact is us. that. Almost every day, another planet that can support life is being discovered right. in the universe. And so what does that tell you? Are we alone? I think not. Definitely not. <laughs> so, Brian, when you uh, have a chance, connect to me via Skype, uh, max2040507. My contact is on humancall.com. And let's see what you can say. Maybe I can help you a little bit more with your... Opening your thing, it, it relates to both Brian's. Yes, both Brian's. So, you know, was uh, told were told by Lakesh today that you are opening your channel. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you. Obviously, I I can only I don't want to push you too hard, but I at least I will will give the the extraterrestrial an opportunity to speak, and I'm pretty good in asking questions. Yeah. And interesting questions. And, and, yeah. And, you know, when we first started this, a community of channelers is just going to, is amazing. Can you imagine what that'll do for the Earth? A community of yeah, channelers. Yeah, Max, I was going to say this should be your last three Saturday webinar. No, no, not ready yet, no. no. If you start charging, no. if you start charging, uh, we'll <laughs> Many people who are not capable of paying now, so unfortunately yeah. we will lose a lot. So I, we are not, we can't afford that. But everyone who enjoys that, please, you know, reach your PayPal and <laughs> send us at least a dollar. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I mean we need that. I know we do. And you can address it to both Jim and Max. You can address it to Max, to Jim, and blah blah blah. I know we need it. I laugh because I'm not good with money. As far as asking for it and stuff. All right. So. Others also, I think it, there are a few more people. Like Liney is close to become to channeling, and a few other people who are close. Slava is close. Thanks, There's Slava, many. for all your great help. Oh, thank you, Slava. You're very talented. And Ellie yeah, is every lots of talented Ellie, people out there. Ellie and Sabrina kind of opened the door to many other people. Ellie by posting things and Sabrina by starting the Facebook thingy and, uh, and others that, also yeah, helped do the Facebook. So so other venues and doors need to be open because we need to carry that message to others. And we're, we're reaching more people now which is a wonderful thing. And um, now, now we need yeah. to... Yes. What yeah, was that? I, I would like to... Um, which Ellie had commented on this, um, have one where we're just speaking the languages. So, so maybe the people that speak the languages, we can meet and start practicing. Because I think it also helps open up. I know that the more I practice, the more of them I get. Yeah. And and if we are also, when we're doing it, if we start sending energy to the earth um, while we're doing that, I think it would also be very helpful for what Tucker asked us to do. 
Excellent. Oh, you're going to, uh, you're going to, Sabrina, eventually pick a home language, which means that out of all the languages that you speak now, they're going to want you to select one that you feel most comfortable with, and you will be a, a sort of ambassador with that one, but because that will be the language of the species that you will be interpreting to others. Oh, because I love them all. <laughs> yes, but do you? But one of them will be more, more in you than the others. But they're all in you, pretty good. So more prevalent. More prevalent. There yes. you go. And it starts with A and ends with N, right? Yeah. <laughs> Arturian. <laughs> I'm just Wee! guessing. We love that. <laughs> So what I wanted to say, <laughs> yes, so it's done deal, accepted. Um, let's find a time which is good for people who speak That's like good. languages. Uh, we'll make a place on the site re really, which would be easy to find. Look for Galactic Languages place, maybe a new article. And we'll kind of uh, hang there, with like a, a category of that, and we'll discuss there what is a good time. Uh, until the end of school year, I have time in uh, until 3 p.m. New York time, Eastern time. Okay. Uh, because then my kids come from school, so we can find uh, the morning time and during the weekday, or you know Sunday is also available. So we'll find the okay. time and we'll kind of make a regular uh, yeah. webinar for yeah. that. Yeah. And Max, anybody that wants, if, if, go ahead, go ahead, Jim. Anybody that wants to discuss uh, Lightworker book, uh, get to me on my email, and we'll set up a Skype time for us to chat. Can you explain? Um, we're going yes. to, as a group. I think we, it's necessary to have a light worker book uh, to inform people what actually we do and why, and how to become a part of that. So, uh, if if you have ideas, uh, get in touch with me on um, my email, and then we can set up a Skype time to chat the, about it. The the that thing is more appropriate. The Google Hangouts are more appropriate for, the, for this kind of people already used to that. Okay, Skype I don't know. Very limited in that sense. Okay, we just Google. I don't know how to use Google Hangouts. Uh, yeah. yeah, we need, and that brings another question. So we need more people who are able to set up Google Hangout uh, on air, which is it's called Google Hangout on air. That's what we are using right now. I think Brian with the head, the one with the yeah. head, certainly qualified. Uh, and for every one of those, we need a, what do you call this? No, the the one which is a TV a TV show host, a host, yes. That's a it. host. A host. So Brian, you're certainly qualified. Sabrina, you possibly qualified for a host. Nick, you're not qualified. When you <laughs> started ground team, it was supposed to be a team, and you're dominating the whole site. <laughs> your channelings. You you're don't. You're just too powerful, it. Nick. <laughs> 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 you need to learn to listen a little bit, you know. Wait, you know, what? Like, <laughs> I will repeat. When it was part of the ground team side, it was supposed to well, be. Well, that's team. because right when, okay, about, when you gave me that permission slip in my life, everything instantly changed in my whole <laughs> universe. So then all of a sudden I, was, I, I decided to break up with my girlfriend. I had a vision, and then all of a sudden everything else started happening. Like the, my work decided that... They wanted to go a darker path, so I let them go. Right after, the company is now being sold because I left. Wow. <laughs> Nick, and Kate, it's all about you. When you speak, it's all about you. Think about my <laughs> life. You know, I'm, just I'm, just I'm ha what's happening. <laughs> yes, but, but it will come, Nick. You're doing great. No, no, you need just practice. It's just all you know, practice. Practice, you know. Look at the watch, and every time, like you know, every tenth breath, you have to ask, you know, questions, invite things. Not only you, something else. But you're great, you, Nick. Thank you very much. You, when you joined us, our horizons expanded. Your face is so beautiful. Your energy, <laughs> right? Girls love you, and the whole audience kind of is attracted to you. Even boys love you. you <laughs> lots of people joined us. Everyone's calling me and saying they feel like I'm just their family member. Yes. Yeah. yeah, likewise. It's, it's a beautiful feeling. Hey, Max. Max. 
the, the great but, thing about Nick is he brought through a whole bunch of like part of the reptilian race really reaching out, really yep. bringing that that love you know to Rick Fignier and others to to I'll share that to, they're not yes. Yeah, wonderful. He's doing a great job. I have to lose weight so that I'll have more admirers like him. So. <laughs> Nick, you're looking great, man. Yes, can I say uh, thank you, Nick, as well. Thank you very much for passing on the, through your, your, your gifts. Uh -huh. and also, also through you is I lost my fear of the reptilians through you, actually. I <laughs> cool. that Same fear. Fear. So yeah, I, I definitely ha I lost that fear of them, for sure. I've accepted them as like Accepting everybody else as my brothers and sisters, you know. So wonderful. That's a great thing. Yes. Yeah. Although we got to be careful of the negative and the positive there, though. Um, correct. 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 Yeah. This is uh, something Lakesh went uh, over with me quite in depth. Well, just be aware of the war. The wars of the era are not because of the reptilians, but because of the other people on the planet that can't seem to be gentle enough with them. Oh. Because they're just, they're so highly evolved that they just feed off of whatever reflections you give to them. They're delicious. So they only live in whatever, because you're actually projections of them in a sense. See, I, I, I wanted to say something, Nick. I realized that when you brought through the Dragon King, I could see the anger that he was feeling everybody's emotion, the wars and stuff that happened on the planet. He was picking up their energy. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, after yeah. that, I couldn't really channel for like a few days. I was yeah. sick for four days. Really sick. My head was right here. Was I still have that pain there. It just kind of subsided. It's almost oh, like. Oh, yeah, it was hard. I had Reiki on it and everything. It didn't <laughs> help. This Reiki, it didn't help at that point. No, but Reiki didn't even when, help. When, when I was in Reiki, I felt that it was healed. But, you know, I stood up and again, the pain came full force. Yeah, it. it it, it was a very... Oh, wait, wait a second. I need to uh, show me that again. Yeah, what is this? What is that? I gave in my arms to God in when I lived in Hawaii. This is the left arm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What, what, what is it? Is it just a dragon or what is it? This is the right arm. Can you explain the picture? It's like a well, cross. the right arm is... Uh, a cross, a wooden cross with angel wings, and the left arm is a wooden cross with dragon wings. Ah, oh, here you go. They're both my first tattoo. I got them at the same time. Wow. I got the right one first, and then the left one. Oh, what? What's wow. the meaning meaning behind them for you? What is? Well, it I gave, I was giving my arms to God, so everything. I, my, ever since I put these on my arm, in a sense, everything I touch turns to gold, and just ha works. And it's not me doing it. I, in a sense, I gave my arms. They're his arms. So whatever I'm doing with my hands, I'm not actually doing. That I just, in a sense, permanently channeled my arms, the arms of God. <laughs> cool. That's pretty cool. Because, because tattoos were invented in well, a long. I don't even know. They've been around since Lyrans, I think, maybe started them. Uh, maybe Octurians. I don't even know, man. The Anunnaki probably did. They always did all kinds of crazy stuff already. What? But um, uh, but they're they're spiritual enhancements. They they change your body's chemistry, your spirit attachments. It's like soul armor. Amen. Hey. Amen. <laughs> that's how that's I see it, so that's how I experience it. Yes, what it represents for you. That's cool, Nick. Yes. And I'm going to get them upgraded and get glow-in-the-dark ink. I would love to see that. That's cool. Yeah. Actually, I might, my stepsister, she's a tattoo artist, so she'll probably do them for free. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um... So, yeah, I know the general wanted to talk, but <laughs> there was also someone else that wanted to talk. I forget who. Do you want to bring them through, or do you have time? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. So I guess I'll just see. Well, because now that whole thing with Kenjin makes the whole thing different. <laughs> because now I found out that he's actually... Ar there's already a Japanese anime... 
and a cartoon show, and they spell exactly how he said it's spelled. And I never heard of it or knew anything about it. And then I saw him in its pictures exactly how he is. He has the samurai armor in some of them. And it's like black and white sketches of him. And his eyes are glowing white like stars are fought. Like, it's, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's been appearing to people. And I already know that it's him when they tell me. I usually don't say it. It's like, it's like their projection onto the anime. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Well, they channeled his actual story. Oh, okay. And it's not even changed. Not even the spelling of his name. That is... So they've been knowing these, but they didn't know it was real, I guess, probably. Or maybe they did. Because he lived in Japan, so obviously it would make sense that the stories lived on. Yes, yes. Yeah. Cool. That's crazy. That's what being in the fourth density is all about, man. There's no more... You travel, you're traveling through time and, and creating space. So that's what I do in my waking time. Most people usually only do that in their dreams. Yeah, the dreams are far out for me too. I just, man, I'm going places and everything and at least it's just fascinating. I love it. I love the dream time. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'll... Are you recording? It's still recording, yes. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I should turn off my phone. There's your contact. <laughs> I don't even know who this is. Yeah. Answer it. No, to, to no. Men in black, yeah. Yeah, now we know who to blame all the time. <laughs> Jim says say by the people. Um, they can see you. Oh, Maybe the general got a phone. Yeah. Uh, general, <laughs> so so Jim has calling. to leave now, and uh, Jim yeah. is saying goodbye. I'm, I have to go. I have to make a stop, and then I, I have a, another appointment at 1 o'clock. So. Bye, Jim. Much Bye -bye. love. Bye, Jim. Uh, it was Bye, great Jim. seeing you all, and thanks very much. Thanks, much man. Bye, Much love, Jim. Much love. Much love. Hack it too. Yeah, uh, Nick, if you want a channel, go for it. Uh -huh. Okay. Love you. Love you too, man. Yeah, also, I, I will live in about 15 minutes, maybe, if uh, if I can. Uh, but I, I, go as, as long as you wish. You, uh, it, it, it works fine. And every when everyone le is left, it will kind of shut down. When the last person leaves, it shuts down. But right now, you, you've been on record. Yeah, we will play and have lunch. Okay, so Nick, you you can. I'll play. This light switch right here. Greetings, everyone. Hello, General Rokur. Greetings, General. It's Brian. Greetings, greetings. Namaste. Namaste. Aloha. 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 Namaste, General. What's up? I'm actually on Oahu today. You actually on Diamond Head. Would you like to continue about the hybridization? I think it was very important. Yes, I see there is a little bit of confusion. We did not imply that we desire anyone to be reptilian hybrids in any way. Okay. We are offering any kind of hybridization. Oh, 
any kind? We are promoting all kinds of hybridization. We would, of course, appreciate if you desired to use our DNA, but this is not necessary to us or to you. You can choose your own paths. We have no desire to, for you to be more like us. We just simply say it is easier for you to understand us with our DNA. And we can work easier together if you did have our DNA. Not that we cannot work together without it. It'd just be smoother process. Um, what is your motivation of, as a species to provide a service? As a species, now we have no motivation for our own species as you would think of us as Anu men. We want to unite mankind. Mankind is vast and diverse. Reptilians are just one of the many types of mankind of this planet. I see. I'm conveying a question which many asked. Uh, if the reptilians, if your species has so much control on Earth governments, so much influence... As I said, not control. This is not a control room. This is a... chess game. Yes, I understand that. And we represent the board. Oh, the board. Yes. I understand, yes. The pieces but represent I... mentalities of light and darkness. As each piece moves, they intermingle. Though seemingly dangerous most of the time in chess, the closer you are to another enemy, the safer you are. Are, are you more of a balance? Yes, we represent an balance. even playing field. Ah, okay. Do you have connection with the dolphins on Earth? Or? Dolphins are honestly more connected to you because you are mammalian. Okay. Are we are dolphins... more connected to sharks. Are dolphins more of the Syrian energy? Syrian. That is one of the strong connections, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, General, um, one of the concerns of mine is, again, I, I have a, a violent, um, how do you call it, violent rejection of anything military. That's why I'm so difficult to accept that. But yes, what we concern is now that... is not a battle for us. We are not violent, as I had said. Human beings, your type of human beings, are being violent. Not against us, against themselves. Against Where does that come violence. from? That because we are so acceptable to the control? What What as is it that drives humanity? Control. There is corruption in the world. Do not. I am not denying that. There okay. is corruption, usually from humankind. So it's and the structure. Hybrid. Yes. Is it As the was Hitler, he was a hybrid experiment that went completely madly wrong. Is the ones that like to be in power or control, controlling, are them what you call a cabal, cabal or any others, these organizations, why do they feel that they need the control? They want, desire power. Because hybridization gives so much wealth more power, and power already. Then they go and search for more, as is the uh, he is it a disease? For the ark. He searched for the Holy Grail. He searched for every ancient artifact of power he could possibly find and discover. Hmm, interesting. This is why he was so successful, because he gained ancient wisdoms through these artifacts. And, and then the people for them. Yes. Therefore, he was so successful. He didn't so survive 40-something uh, murder attempts from other humans. 
Right. He survived millions of murder attempts from extraterrestrials. Ah, I understand. Because so it's the powers not... he was finding were so powerful. Mm -hmm. It was mankind. We, it, throughout history, all these artifacts and weapons that I've talked about in ancient times exist on the planet still. Yes. They never can leave because they were created for this earth. And they can be found again and used to help with ascension in non-violent ways, but energetic violent ways in a sense. Mm. So just supporting love and peace just a, through a grassroots movement will help shift this planet. Yes. General, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's technological based. Um, I presume that your race is, is quite technological in as like a whole species. Um, in we are very natural, more natural than you would know. Okay. There are many scientists among us, but as you talk about who I represent as the general of the Lord's Army, we don't really use any technology as you would think of technology. It is ancient alchemy. Okay, cool. Um, in, the, in the lines of, um, I guess, free energy, um, I've been doing a lot of research into magnetism and how it can affect um, like states of levitation, can create power, it can create, well, it can make changes through water. Um, is there any kind of, any details about the state of the free energy situation that you could maybe give a clue about? I don't want too much yes. information because I know that it... The can... clue is that anything that reflects light is conductive. So you even if you can harness those photons, which is actually very simple. So even you gas, already know that you already need the energy. General. So even yes. even gas even gas can be magnetized? In a sense, at least in most of the world, streets are paved with fuel. Yes. Solid fuel. In order for human beings to drive cars that operate themselves and that are completely safe and float above the ground, yes. you wouldn't have to make new roads. You just don't even have to fix these roads. You wouldn't have to touch them anymore. You just make tracks that send pulses and almost push the vehicles that are only just hovering and that are in some sort of lock with the field that the lines create. This is a little bit ahead of its time because gold in, it would have to be used and I, as we understand still, there are most humans that would just try to take it for themselves. That is one of the biggest problems with a lot of the uh, natural minerals is that they are just being dug up and uh, placed into communications technology, I guess. Yes, in iPhones there's much gold in crystals, in smartphones in general. For an example of how immersed your society already is in reptilian energy, are any of you familiar with the company Under Armour? No. It is an athletic brand. They, they do boxing equipment, don't they? They make equipment, they make clothing for all sporting, all athletics, shoes, everything. It is big in America. It is big in the NFL and all our sports. Are they using some type of nanotechnology or something different? It is nanotechnology technological, yes, in nature. Ah. And it the example that I was trying to give you is that this is completely a reptilian company, corporation. They are only trying to spread their wisdom and technology to all mankind now. Yes. I, I, I'm wondering about how we can stop the big oil industry on Earth. It is on its way out. Everyone understands, yes, that the BP oil spill was intentional by the corrupted powers that ran that corporation, and that they did this in order to so-called clean 
the Gulf of Mexico after they destroyed it all and killed it completely. Now the sea turtles have to go somewhere else. But they cleaned it with chemicals that was actually poisoning it even further. They created a dead pool. Yes. And this is sin beyond sins. And this will not be permitted to ever happen again by any means. Thank you. The what amount I of life that was lost in that incident was not appropriate by any means. And if human beings continue to do that, we will have no choice but to be violent. See, that's the thing about many of us. We are the ones, only those at the top, the illusion of power, we're, a lot of us sometimes are not aware of this. So they are we the not control. harm anyone who is not involved. Yes. And was not consciously aware. Yes. In a sense, it would be a small division that would infiltrate wherever we must and slay the beasts. Understood. And in a sense, in your dimensionality, it may be perceived as them being arrested or corruption being uncovered. Ah, I understand now. Not as murder as you used to be in the old days. Right. As for what you call divine justice. Zero. Sneaky, sneaky, get our land back. Say again? I'm saying use the tactics of being sneaky to get our land back like they've done to take it, the power, I guess. It's or the illusion, of, the, the illusion of power. Yeah. Yes, the illusion. So, General, coming back to the idea of hybridization, uh, I'm somewhat concerned that this idea comes from a military leader. Uh, I would invite maybe some of your non-military reptilians to speak more about that, maybe scientists. Uh, that would make it uh, easier to judge from other perspectives as well. Yes, I actually have all of that information within myself. I, in a sense, have a crystal skull, an emerald skull. All the wisdom and intellect of my entire civilization lies within my mind. I'm talking not about the information, more like about personality. You are a general, and the personality of a general doesn't go well with... Uh, with the hybridization. You wish to talk directly to a mm, shaman. Maybe someone non military, yes. Not necessarily now, just in the future. Yes, I understand, and this will happen, yes. Thank you much. I, I appreciate your understanding. Yes. I invite more questions from people. I might need to leave in a few moments, so Brian, you're responsible to drive it as a host, if you don't mind. Uh, who are you speaking with, Max? Uh, Brian, with the head, uh, you can drive okay. the show as a host, if you don't mind. Are there any more questions? I've been told that I'm going to be a leader in some ways. Do you have any tips for me of being a leader, a good leader? Who is this again? Hello? Gabriel, Gabriel say it again. Uh, do you have any tips for me? I heard that I'm going to be a leader. How to be a Your good leader. Gabriel? Yes. Yeah. Are you aware of any of your hybridization? That I have Pleiadian and Yael. Pleiadian, yes, I was about to say Pleiadian. And Yael, yes. Only those two? I, d I don't know any more. Yes, do you know the percentages? I don't remember exactly. Yael, possibly. 3%, Pleiadian, 
one other 5%. Okay, that I didn't know. Perhaps you have not chosen what it was you didn't you cannot remember. Because you maybe do not understand why you chose this one. General, I have what a question. What do you feel that it is? First of all, it is better to resolve it now. So do you, do you say that I have a problem that I have the, that DNA or no, it is not a problem. It's the way you're looking at it. Okay. But I don't remember. Gabriel, I, I'll explain. Uh, the general cannot, cannot tell you what DNA it is unless you guess. If you guess the species right, he can confirm. Yes, I, I don't have a, I, any I, strong I, guess. I, I can tell you that it is... Okay. Perhaps it's not time for you to know. <clears throat> it's not negative in any way. It's powerful. And it's not reptilian. I feel very powerful and sometimes it's hard to control. Do you feel a connection to any specific animals as familiars or pets? Well, I've been very attracted to ants. Ants. I find them very interesting. I highly doubt that you have 5% insectoid. You would be mutated very strongly. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Um, and what... Okay, so what you attracted to ants because of their intelligence. Right, it's interested species. I find them interesting. Yes. Do you have mutations? I have no... I don't know. Do you the hear the, sound the, the from the there? The question I ask is that I heard that I'm going to be a leader in some way. If you have yeah. any tips of being a leader. But the first tip of being a leader is that there are no excuses when you are the leader. for anyone who wants to become one. There's no excuses. You're either right or you're wrong, and you must always be honest. Yes. Either way, you must always have humility. And listen to the other one, or... And eventually, when you accept both sides and you understand the balance of reality, you can never, in a sense, be wrong. And this is why how they chose certain individuals to become leaders in our society, and in yours as well. It was finding that balance. It has to be that way. Because yes. and power can corrupt. You can lose your balance at any time. Yes, it's understanding the shadow part of us understanding our, our weaknesses, but understanding why... That's what I feel inside. It. It's, it's really bringing out how can we truly understand what light is if we haven't experienced a part of the dark. We have to, we have to see it from a greater, greater perspective of love. Just allowing. A love equals allowance. It's allowing all things without the push and pull, but there, it's always going to be there. We're always going to have our differences, but there's something that needs to come out. We need to understand more of Diff these different races because they're an image, a reflection of us in our genetics, in our DNA. We want to know who we are and we why we forgot who we were. Yes. In the idea of leadership, the idea that humans have of leadership that they're raised with is actually a false definition. It's a sickness. Mm. Human beings who want to be leaders so bad that they will do anything to get in a position of leadership are no leaders at all. Is it more of a competitiveness of uh, the way it's structured on this planet? It's a more like walking up steps. Because mm. hmm. the liars are in the cage underneath the pyramid and you just walk right over it to the top. 
You have to be completely transparent in every way. Yes. That step metaphor was actually really, really powerful. I, I got this strange kind of, the resonance of it was, it was, it was intense. Yeah. It just made made so much sense to me, and just summed up a lot about the the metaphorical kind of pyramid of our governmental structuring. I guess that's that's the one thing I think really needs to change on the planet, General. Is instead of having a pyramid mentality of a hierarchy, make it more of a round table, the circles. You know what the circle represents? Unity. Yeah. Unity. You're speaking of. King Arthur's Round Table. Yes. Symbology, yes. King Arthur, how many knights does your legend say he had? <laughs> His legend is shrouded so much on this planet. I know. That's why that's why we're digging deep. We're asking the big questions because we really we've a lot of our history's been hidden from us. We've forgotten. Yeah. I trained in Camelot. <clears throat> Yes. I've I've noticed a lot of similarities between the um the the Celtic stories of uh, the Arthurian legends and Merlin and a lot of the of the New Testament Jesus kind of stories. There yeah. there are a lot of similarities and I I believe that the symbology between the the stories themselves are almost almost meant to be spot on. Yes. Yeah. Most of the stories in your society are just about Jesus. Yeah, the religions on the planet, it's, man, that's the one thing about fear and guilt, is how to really start to remove that, start to stay in the balance and start to understand why, why fear, why guilt, why shame, you know? Yes. It is no coincidence that there are so many reptilians in all the Bible movies of the current days. They've always been in them. Satan, Lucifer, this is the biggest struggle on the planet. We're, we're trying to understand everything evil that happens or perceive as evil is always say, ah, they can blame one being or this. But when we really, through your species, you're helping us understand what was that all about, you see? Yes, Satan did not say he can create the world on himself. People told him that he was God, so he started getting corrupted and believed them. Yes, yes, understood. He forgot yeah. about God's son because he was the little drummer boy, in a sense. Oh, Everything in his body course. was music. Mm, persuasion. So yes. everyone followed him into the forest, the Pied Piper, Pan. Yes, yes, understood. But these are all gifts of God. This is yes. why he forgot that he was a son of God. He didn't forget he was just misunderstood. Right. And people developed a mentality that they were above God in a sense. They start to try to... Because of the way he opened 